All right, so today I thought I'd have a little fun with some numbers. Let's crunch some numbers, and I want to figure out how many ball python combinations that we can make when we look at the number of base morphs that we have available to us. So I want to look at the number of base morphs first. Now I think there's over 300 just straight base morphs. So you look at single gene animals, and it's 300. And if you had two gene animals like this albino pied, and how many possible combinations combinations could you make with two genes and if we did like three genes or four genes or five genes and we look at all the different combos maybe up to five genes maximum how many snakes and how many combinations can we produce with the available number of base morphs that we have today and it's kind of interesting if you go over to morphmarket.com and sort by you know look at all the snakes that have sold and the snakes that are for sale there's 88,000 snakes on there i started to think you know have we actually made all the combos that are possible or maybe half or what is the ratio how many you know how how much further can we progress in the ball python industry without having to repeat ourselves and, and kind of make what's already been made. So I thought that would be kind of a neat little exercise we could go through today. And before we jump into the numbers, I wanted to share with you some other numbers and that is one of my YouTube milestones. So I know a lot of YouTubers when they're, when they're going through their channel, they kind of reach certain milestones along the way. And I would say most people are kind of looking at subscribers or maybe they're looking at the total number of views across their channel or maybe they're looking at how much money they're making and I'm kind of looking at something totally different and this is my milestone that I've reached today as a matter of fact this video right here that I'm making right now <laughs> this is my 400th video on YouTube I have 400 videos out there, and let me tell you, that is an incredible amount of videos. You figure, you know, if, if you have like a TV show with 10 shows per episode, that's like 40 seasons of your favorite TV show. That's an incredible amount of videos that I put out there. And let me tell you, I'm putting out videos day after day, one a day. I'm releasing them at 6 p.m. every single day, seven days a week, and I've been doing it for 14 months straight. It's pretty incredible how much I've been pretty much grinding away at the YouTube. And the thing that really keeps me going is my passion for what I'm doing as well as you and the viewers. You know, I really enjoy seeing the feedback and the people really supporting me in the comments and seeing me at the Reptile Shows. That's what really keeps me going. And that is what's going to keep me going for the next 400 videos over the next year. So let's jump into some numbers and see, you know, how all these ball python combinations. And actually, you know, if you've been watching my YouTube channel, I've been trying to improve video after video. You know, I started with, you know, the better camera, the tripod, the lighting. And kind of the, the last thing that I've been working on is trying to get my computer hooked up to my camera instead of putting the camera in front of the computer. I know it's, it's kind of like a low quality right now. And I actually got an HDMI cable and downloaded some screen capture software and I can't get it to work. So I'm gonna have to actually take this camera, put it in front of the computer for this time until I can get this crazy uh, screen capture software working again. But what I wanna do first is let's go over to Morph Mark Market, and let's take a look at the number of base pairs. I mean, just the single base morphs. It keeps changing all the time. And I'm pretty sure you can sort by just the base morph and we can look at the number and we'll use that number in some of our calculations. Okay, so I'm gonna start over here at Morph Market. And what I did is I signed in and if you sign in and have an account, you can actually see the sold ball pythons. So what I'm looking at here is the sold and for sale together all the ball pythons that have ever been listed on Morph Market. And this is kind of like the Kmart of ball pythons. You can find just about anything on here. And the total number of ball pythons that have been listed on here is 88,309 ball pythons. That is an incredible amount of snakes. Yeah, that's actually, if actually if you filter it by, um, Filter it by, let's see if we can do this, just for sale uh, instead of all. So there's not that many for sale because a lot of them have sold. If we just look at just the for sale, 
and it'll be a lot less than 88,000, 88,000. So there's actually 8,278. 8, so there's, you know, 90% of all the ball pythons on Morph Market have sold over probably, you know, this has been around for at least six or seven years here on Morph Market. So there's been a lot of snakes coming and going. And remember, those are not just, um, uh, all different snakes a lot of those are a repeat of the same snake over and over so if you look up bamboo there's probably you know a couple dozen bamboos that are just straight gene bamboos so that's not even all the different combinations so that is a quite quite a lot of snakes and then if you come over here to the big morph list at the world of ball pythons if you look at if you so over here you can actually click on morph list up at the top and then sort by uh, just the basic morphs down here and you can see the number up here we have 311 base morphs for um, uh, just just the base morph so so this, this is the single individual genes that is an incredible amount of individual genes and if we actually look at all which includes which includes everything from uh, actually let's just go to designer so if you look at designer it shows you all the combinations that have been listed on on world of ball pythons so there's actually six thousand four hundred and thirty six different combinations that have been posted with you know one two three four genes all the different stuff all mixed together and 6400 so that is a lot of different combinations but let me tell you i know for a fact there are a lot more combinations than have than has of what has been produced on morph market and the world of ball pythons and let me tell you we are just scratching the surface and what i'm going to show you on the next page is going to blow your mind <laughs> take a look at this this is a website i kind of ran into it's a, a combinations and permutations calculator and what this actually does is it figures out how many different combinations you can make with the the different number of base genes <clears throat> so for example you have um, 311 base genes here we're going to choose just one gene at a time is the position of each object important no it doesn't really matter what position it is is there an unlimited supply of each object no, because you can't have, for example, a pastel, 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 pastel. <laughs> you can you can have two pastels, but this this program really cuts out like the super pastels and stuff like that. So this, there's actually more in here than than actually what what uh, what our numbers are going to calculate. So for just one gene, we have 311. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to two genes. So we're looking just at the two gene animals with 300 base morphs we can make 48,000 different combinations just with two gene animals using those 311 different base morphs and we move that up to three let me tell you this goes exponentially if we go three genes we are looking at uh, 4.9 million different combinations of three gene snakes and let me tell you that's that's not including the two gene snakes or the one gene snakes now let me tell you the, the one and two gene snakes kind of doesn't even uh even add very much to 4.9 million so if you want to go up to if you want to go up to four genes take a look at this so if you if you start producing four gene animals you actually have uh, 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 this is actually 382 million different combinations of four gene snakes, which is pretty incredible. And if you want to go up to five genes, this number is going to blow your mind. So <laughs> we're looking at, I know, uh, sometimes, sometimes if you have a five gene snake, it can kind of muddy the water. But if you're looking at five gene snakes, look at this 2.3 times E to the 10, which is actually, uh, let's see, this is da, 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 23 billion different combinations that you can have with five gene animals. So let me tell you, 23 billion, that's, that's more than we'll produce in our lifetime. You could produce, you know, four and five gene animals until the cows come home and you will never produce all of them. You will not even scratch the surface. All right, so I actually plugged into six gene combinations in that calculator and it looks like there are over 
are one trillion different possibilities that you can get with the 311 base base morphs you know mixing those together to get a six gene combo it's almost like kind of playing the lottery I guess if you're going for you know the six gene animals and I would dare say that if you actually make a six gene animal probably no one in your lifetime will ever get that again it's it's pretty remote that anyone will ever make a six gene animal I've seen some pretty amazing six gene animals that you know that have five or six genes and I thought you know it'd be neat to try to make one of those and to actually make one you look at the odds and it's like so far out that you can actually try to make something like that you almost never could hit the odds to make it again so I just thought that was kind of interesting I don't know if you played with the numbers and realized you know the potential of the ball python industry as far as you know a lot of people think you know are we running out of snakes did we already make everything already and let me tell you that we haven't even scratched the surface as far as what is possible with these ball pythons so that is it thanks for watching and i will see you next time